The federal government is massive, wasteful, and growing larger every year. It's time to downsize the federal government. The Department of Labor was created in 1913 to, as the department's official history says, give organized labor a voice in the cabinet. Today, the department spends around $100 billion a year. That's $800 for each U.S. household. In recent years, the majority of the department's spending is on unemployment insurance, which distorts the economy in a number of ways. Studies have found that extending the amount or duration of benefits increases the length of time that workers remain unemployed. Unemployment insurance suppresses personal savings. Payroll taxes create a disincentive to hire workers. And the administration of unemployment programs cost taxpayers nearly $6 billion in 2010. It's also estimated that the improper payment rate is about 11 percent, which amounted to $17 billion of wasted taxpayer money in 2010. A report by the Government Accountability Office found that there are 47 different federal employment and training programs. It said that, quote, little is known about their effectiveness. Taxpayers have spent billions of dollars a year on these programs for decades, and the government doesn't even know if they work. Training programs are also rife with abuse. A 2011 report detailed examples of federal job training funds going toward luxury hotel stays and other frivolous items. The Department of Labor administers and enforces more than 180 federal laws, many of which are harmful to economic growth and inconsistent with a free society. The 1935 National Labor Relations Act imposes collective bargaining on many workers and businesses, which is a euphemism for monopoly unionism. So-called collective bargaining violates the spirit of individual rights to free speech and freedom of association. Union security rules in the states that do not have right-to-work laws force workers to pay dues to the union, even if they want no part of it. And minimum wage laws create collateral damage by reducing the number of entry-level jobs, and evidence shows that minimum wage increases don't reduce poverty levels. In the long run, the unemployment insurance system should be reformed to a system based on personal savings accounts, as the nation of Chile has done. In the meantime, the system should be sent back to states. Job training programs don't offer substantial benefits and should be eliminated. Congress should also downsize the regulatory activities of the department, reforming labor laws and unneeded regulations that damage the economy. Together, these changes would reduce federal spending by tens of billions of dollars a year. For more information on cutting the Department of Labor and other government programs, visit downsizinggovernment.org, a project of the Cato Institute.